Hello, I'm coming to you from one of my clients houses. Um, we're styling it today and this is Belinda from Shea B Property Styling, Creative Director and CEO. And I'm with a client, Katie, who has very kindly allowed us into her home today that we are staging to sell and list just before Christmas. And Katie has agreed to have a chat to us about the stresses that she has faced in placing her home on the market so quickly and what have been her biggest challenges in doing so. I'd also like to ask Katie what she would do differently next time if she were to move again and how did she go about choosing an agent? So Katie, thank you. That's okay. For Feeling coming, very glamorous right now. <laughs> coming onto my live. Yeah. So just give us a rundown on how you've come about putting yep. your home on the market. Okay, and talking about the challenges. Mm. So basically we've been um, in for about 12 months thinking, should we renovate? Should we be looking, you know, sort of going through that whole cycle that everyone goes through. Um, and then just recently started looking, looking sort of for other options rather than renovating our house and found one that we liked really quickly. Um, and then just, it, it just has not stopped since then. So wasn't part of the plan to sell before Christmas. Uh, it just happened to be. So when you made that decision mm. to, you found this other dream home. Yes. How long ago was that? Are we talking a week, three oh, weeks? Oh, I, I, probably a couple of months, maybe. Right. Yeah, yeah, not long. Yeah, so it's been a quick settlement um, and uh, a quick, very quick process, really, um, which has been challenging to the fact that we haven't really, yeah, we were didn't have this place ready to go. Okay. Yeah, so you so. weren't actually intending to sell. But no. You, but you started looking because yeah. you wanted to make sure that renovating... Was, was yeah. the right decision. Not to renovate was the right, right. decision. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So. Now, you've done a lot of work. So, can you just give me a rundown? Um, like, so, this is two weeks ago, three yes. weeks ago that you yes. yeah. thought, right, it's all systems go. Yeah. We've got to get out of our house because yeah. we've bought another one. What things have you done around the home mm -hmm. to feel that you're improving the sale value? Mm -hmm for your home because that can be a big decision for some people in how much work do you actually do yeah yeah up front and why have you chosen to do the things that you have okay so we've been um, in this current place for 13 years wow. so yeah been mm. feel very emotional about this decision but mm. also you know it is the right thing to do um, so yeah so basically we have done lots of improvements over the years but uh, to get it ready for sale it was just a little looking a little bit tired so we gave a full um, coat of paint internally every, yes. every room yes mm -hmm. yeah every it's all done mm -hmm. um, outside there was a few touch-ups just in with the areas that have been getting the Sun so it just it looks as good as new mm -hmm. um, so that's all been done we also have fully decluttered um, because we had a lot of stuff we are also doing a kitchen renovation. This has all been done within two weeks. So a small renovation? Yeah, benches, appliances, handles, sink, taps, yeah. So not a full full, but a very, very good upgrade, yeah. Has that been your decision or was that the advice of your agent that you uh, do that? A bit of both, a bit of both. So okay. they suggested, oh, it was always in my thinking that that's what we would do. Mm -hmm. um, just again, the appliance, you know, I'd, I'd like to present the property um, so that someone can walk in and basically not have to do anything. Mm. Mm. Which is what buyers want. Yeah, yeah. To do. Yeah. So. And it's a pride thing for me too. <laughs> <laughs> so are you falling in love with your home again? Yes, because you're yeah, doing all this yeah, work. Absolutely, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, it's yeah. funny how we don't do things until we have to. Yeah. No, and look, we've always maintained um, our property, but you know, it's. Um, yeah, definitely it's starting to just really shine at the moment and we've had a really busy it's really only really been a week and a half so I think there was one day last week we had sort of eight tradespeople in the house at wow. one time mm. um, yeah. so yeah, what, what would you do differently next give time. myself more time <laughs> but in saying that I think I work best under pressure doesn't everyone mm. I mean when you've got a deadline you just get it done whereas mm. you know things so yeah I mean the we what 
I would do, in terms of the time, I suppose it's the decluttering. I feel like we've taken a lot of things to our other house just because we haven't had time to sort of right. through it. Right. And that's the, yeah, the one, I suppose, the regret that I've had to this point is all those times that we went down to the garage to sort things out, we really weren't doing that. We were just shifting them from one place to another. Mm. So if that's mm. the one piece of advice I could give to someone, even if they're thinking, you know, maybe this might happen one day, just start sorting through your stuff. Mm. Because it's, mm. we're having to take things over to our new house simply to get rid of it to get ready, okay. this place ready, and then we're going to have to sort it out over there, mm. which is an idea. Hopefully you do. We will. <laughs> I am determined. <laughs> and just one more thing before yeah. we go. Um, so an agent. Wiping my sweat An mask. agent, because there are a lot of agents out there. So mm. so was that a hard decision, yeah. or did you have a, a relationship with an agent I, already? Yeah, I've, I've got a relationship with lots of agents um, mm. with what we do. Um, yeah, so it, look, it's challenging, but I think at the end of the day, you just have to feel comfortable. Um, I, yeah, I feel like there's lots of agents I could have chosen because of, I think there are a lot of good ones out there, but um, just someone who's trustworthy and genuine. Um, yeah, and who listens to what your expectations are. So obviously we've bought another place at first, so we've got sort of timelines and expectations. Um, so just being someone who's obviously happy to take those things on board. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you didn't hesitate to have it styled? Absolutely not. Mm. No. So you really feel that by bringing in on-trend furniture, well, like we're using your sofa, yes, uh, mm -hmm. and we're just bringing in some accessories, and mm. we've allowed you to take your beds to the new home, so Thank that you. you've actually got beds to sleep yes. in. So yes. we've we've bought beds in. So today we've just um, brought the furniture in, yeah. and we've still got the tradesmen. So we're not really doing. A yeah. huge amount um, today, are we? No, no. But, but, but the photos are being done on Friday, so there's there's not as much pressure. No. Because no. quite often when you style, it's not unusual to have the photographer turning up the afternoon that your inventory is being moved in, but we're pretty lucky here that mm, we've actually got till Friday before. Mm. Lots to do before then, but yes, will, yes, we will get there. Mm. And we've even got two tradesmen here as we speak, <laughs> so we can't actually move much more furniture until <laughs> until they're finished doing what they're doing so thank you katie That's um okay. all the best i think this is a gorgeous house thank and you. i don't think you're going to have any problems mm. selling it and mm. i saw this home two weeks ago and i am amazed at how fresh it looks with a new coat of paint mm. and it's a very yeah. inexpensive way to improve Mm. the look of your property. I'm impressed that you're revamping your kitchen because a lot of people would look at that and think, well, you know, do mm. I really want to spend that money? But mm. I think you've got to have a budget in mind. Well, and yeah, then, and we have. Yeah, and, and, you know, and you need to know that you're going to get that money back mm. tenfold yeah. In, yeah. in the sale price, and, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, and we had that advice and we were talking through the agent and mm. she agreed with all of the changes that we're making. Mm. Mm. Okay, great. Uh, we might do a little... Um, video once it's all in. Sounds and, good. Um, I'll brush my hair next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling pretty. I'm feeling pretty disgusting today. Trust me. So thank you everybody uh, for joining us and um, good luck, Katie. Thank you. Wishing you all the best.